Okay, the installation of uh, Fedora using VirtualBox went well. Um, I, at the end of the installation, basically all the packages were installed, and at the end I got a message saying, uh, congratulations, finished, installation complete, reboot. So I didn't catch that on video, but uh, that's all right. And then what I did was is I restarted my system, took out the CD, I took out the DVD, rather, that had my Fedora 12 installation DVD. I ejected that and restarted VirtualBox. There's VirtualBox in the background. You can see it says Fedora 12 running, right? And then on top is my window. And now this is the first screen you'll see after you install Fedora. So I'm just going to walk you through that process. If, you, if it helps you, great. Uh, license information. I'm just going to hit forward. And now this is where you will create your username, right? So um, basically, I'm going to create a, uh, a user to start with. Um, I'll say uh, username um, Dan, and then full name, I'll just put Dan. And then I'll put in a, a, a password here. And OK. And I'll hit forward again. So right away they want you to create a user. Normally when we work with Fedora, we're not going to be logging in with the root account. You'll be you'll be logging in with your user account. So um, there it is. Okay. And then the date and time. Okay. I'll just hit forward. And I can send the hardware profile to Fedora. Uh, to the, the people who, uh, the team that works on Fedora so that they can help to modify for my system. And um, uh, so let's see here, send profile and finish. And we'll see what happens next here. So it did a, uh, basically an analysis of my profile and sent it over the network and now booting to the um, Fedora startup screen. This computer, this laptop's pretty old, so things move a little slowly. I'm sorry about that. So um, there's the um, login screen. And I'll just click here and put in my password. And if everything works correctly, notice my mouse is captured inside this window, right? If I want to, um, if I want my mouse back and I want to move the window around and get back to my Windows desktop, I just have to hit the right control key on the right side of my keyboard, the control key on the right side of my keyboard to release the mouse. And uh, once again, everything's moving a little bit slowly. Um, notice there it is. All right. But it looks like we have a login and... Uh, and I'll be working with Fedora shortly. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to click on the window here in the middle to capture the keyboard again. All right, and there it is. Okay, so there's the um, Fedora 12 desktop, and we're ready to start using Fedora and start playing with the um, operating system, start messing around, looking around, um, uh, customizing, updating, and learning how to how to use the many features of the Fedora operating system.